Listen, I, I can't thank everybody enough for all the support that we've gotten since we took this job uh, back in April. We've had a whole new roster that we had to put together with, uh, with 13 new guys. I couldn't be more proud of these guys for the way that they have come together. We had a trip to Italy uh, last month, and the best thing about that trip is it forced our guys to spend a lot of time together. When you have 13 new players and not one of these guys have played with each other, to have the opportunity to bond and spend time together was phenomenal. And we see them grow as a group, as people, and as basketball players. And what we're going to do, we've got the most supportive fan base, I think, in all of athletics. I'm to 2000 tomorrow at Memorial Stadium. We're going to whoop up on the Buckeyes. And what we're going to do every time we step on this floor is we're going to put a product on the floor to make all you very proud. We're going to leave everything out there. Our model is to be the hardest working, most together team. And we're going to leave everything on the line for you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Friday night was a memorable one for Nebraska basketball new head coach Fred Hoiberg, and it was so in a lot of different ways. Now, obviously, the scrimmage portion of the night, it, it was just for fun. You know, it was put, put on a show for the fans, so I wouldn't take much as far as evaluation of what happened on the court. But what's going to stick with you coming out of this thing is all the hoopla around it. The, the celebrities, Larry the Cable Guy, Ronnie Green the Chancellor, uh, former players Isaiah Roby, Isaac Copeland all making their way uh, back to Lincoln to take in this event. Uh, the, the entire lower bowl on the 100 level was f basically filled. And then uh, there's uh, the 200 level, 300 level, all had uh, you know pretty, pretty good attendance there. So all in all, uh, about as big of a spectacle for a preseason event as you could rem remember uh, in recent Nebraska ball history. And uh, they went into this thing wanting to make this a show, and they certainly did. So obviously Rick Ross, you know, taking the stage for performance. Uh, the, the, the turnout for that was a little better than I expected. I didn't know how the fans were going to appreciate that, but, uh, they, you know, they had the stage in the pit uh, right by the stage there full. So all in all, a really great event, I think. And like I said, take what you will from the on-court stuff. I mean, that's... That's just a, a mere sliver in the overall evaluation of this team. They still have a long way to go, uh, still have a lot of work to do in becoming a team, but you can see glimpses of the talent that they have to work with. And I think overall, the depth is better, the overall level of talent is better, and with Fred Hoiberg and staff in charge, this thing has a very bright future. Buskeronline.com, I'm Robin Washington.